as you can see here, we're actually doing a how-to video on how to send TTMs. First off, I'd like to thank Hasa Cards for showing me the ropes. I've said this before a lot of times. If you don't know who Hasa Cards is, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. But he's been doing this for quite a long time. He has hundreds, if not thousands, of through-the-mail autographs that he has received. And this year, I started doing them myself. I'm going to go ahead and do a little how-to video on how to do it. It's pretty simple. Basically, with the items we have here, uh, you can do it yourself. And then, you know what? We're also going to open up a few TTMs that we've received back. Uh, I do have like seven that I've received back, and I typically send one to two a week. And I have been sending off the 9192 Skybox set. I'm trying to get as many of those autographed uh, due to my mom as a little memento of reminding me of growing up as a kid. But more to that to come, so stay tuned for that. But first off, if you haven't signed up for an account at Sports Card Forum, go ahead and do that right now. I'll leave a link for them down below. There is another website out there you can use. This is the one that I've been using for all the TTMs I've been doing so far. So we got Sports Card Forum open up here. And what you want to do is you want to go to TTM Manager at the top here. Go ahead and select that. And then you get your choice between, you know, the different sports. So as I've been doing, I just go to basketball. And then within that, you got the search for a certain player. Let me just go by their last name, right? So if you want to look for, you know, maybe sending something to Michael Jordan, right? Just go to the J's, scroll down. And the thing, too, what you can do is you can click on Last Success uh, in any of these up here. So you click on Last Success, and it'll take you to the most recent. So it looks like Bobby Jones is uh, Last Success. It also gives you the success percentage. A number of successes so it gives you an idea of what you want to look at who you want to send to and then once you select a person read the comments in there it'll tell you if that individual sent you know how many cards they sent you know if they sent a self-addressed stamp envelope sometimes it'll say you know this player charges five dollars ten dollars a card so you have an idea of what to include in your letter all right, so now that you've signed up and you have the player you want to send to, we're going to use Tyron Corbin here. Uh, I was going to send a TTM to him, but it turns out he doesn't ever, you know, either send back or whatever. So there's been lots of failures. But make sure you do your research on the website. So go to your stack of old cards that you probably have or even some modern day players sign a lot. So do check out the website. So we'll use this Tyron Corbin as an example for this video. Uh, you'll need, you don't necessarily need this handle with care. Do not bend. Thank you, Stamp, but it has been definitely useful. So I picked this up actually on Amazon, I think for like eight or nine bucks. Uh, that's going to be quite a while. And you're going to use that to stamp your envelopes. Also on Amazon, you can get some envelopes or either at your local local store, probably Walmart, you know, get some envelopes. You do need two different sizes. Got a large one here and a smaller one. And to go ahead and stamp front and back definitely has prevented the uh, you know every time you get Gandhi's back they definitely come back nice and straight and then also I use uh, some card savers typically just use one uh, I have a generic one that I've been using but if you all have the basic one the card saver ones definitely prefer to use these you don't have to use them I've actually gotten back a TTM that wasn't the cards weren't even in the card saver and they were actually safe probably due to the fact that you know, I had the stamp on there. And then the last thing you'll need is your letter, right? So I went ahead and kind of drafted up a letter here. Mine is a little bit more extensive, but, you know, say if you want to send to Tyrone Corbin, you know, we got a little letter here. Dear Mr. Corbin, I like you a lot. Sign it in your name. I do recommend putting a little bit more than that in your, in your letter. Uh, I type mine up. I don't have the best handwriting, so <laughs> I type mine up print it out and sign it uh, and then you can just tailor it to whatever you know whatever player you want but do I typically am respectful do put mister all right so now that we have our letter signed here this is what we're going to do we're going to take our card I've been sending two or three I typically try to send at least two because you know if I'm going to send one why not send at least two so I'll look around at all my old stuff I'll put the card in the saver right now we got to go now we have our letters here so on our envelopes you know you want to put the player address right Tyron Corbin the address that you get from the website uh, put your name and your address there 
that's the bigger envelope. And then on the bigger envelope, you do need two stamps. I typically just use two because that seems to do the trick. And then on the re self address return stamp envelope, uh, player address over here. Sometimes I don't use their full name. Uh, I just maybe use their last name or their first name just so it's not obvious that I'm getting you know, a famous person mail back. And then my name and then my address there. And then just use one stamp there. So we got the smaller envelope. We have the card in the card saver. We'll just throw it in there. And I do like these self-sticking envelopes. Definitely makes it easier, especially for the players. Grab that, put that in there. Got our notes. Now don't forget, always double check you got the stamp. Got our note. Put the self-adjust stamp envelope inside the note. So the player kind of just opens it up, reads that. You know, they'll open this up and have the card in there to sign. They typically know the drill. And then we also have the other envelope here. So you got this ready to go. We will put it in the main envelope. Right, this is also a self-sticking envelope. Remove that, and there you go. Right, throw this in the mail. Hopefully in a week or two, sometimes some players take you know, a month or so or even longer. I've seen, you know, Hasa cards get probably over a year, right? So for some players, but as long as it's still out there, you know, you get an idea from the website how long different players take. Some of them are, I've gotten back within a week, it seems like, right? So uh, if you didn't realize, I live in Hawaii. So due to the fact that even for a week is kind of great to get those back. And that's all you need to do, right? So the cost for like three stamps, which I think stamps are nowadays are 60 cents a stamp, uh, so, plus some envelopes. And uh, you know, letter basically, you could say for two bucks plus some old cards you got, you can get yourself a nice autograph of a player that you like out there. So, hopefully, this all helped you all out there. Let's go ahead and open up those TTMs that I got back. I'll move this card saver to the side. If you all send any TTMs out there recently, got any nice autographs back, let me know down below. All right, so we do have a few here. It has been a little while since I've opened up one. Sometimes, you know, I haven't gotten any response backs in my letter. I do put a question in the letter that I send to the players. Maybe one of these days I'll get a response back. We'll see. All right, so let's check out this first one here. Looks like we got Brad Davis. Nice. Very nice. Let's see. Always hoping, yes, that's the one I'm hoping to get back. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, this 91-92 Skybox set, I'm definitely stoked about getting autographs. That's another thing. So when you pick a card, I do recommend picking a card that, you know, has more white. You know, those darker cards that definitely don't allow the autographs to shine through that well. Nice. I didn't realize I sent two. Very nice. Thanks, Mr. Mr. Davis. Greatly appreciate that. We'll put that up there. All right, next one here. Mr. Dan Shays. Nice. Very nice. Milwaukee Bucks. And when he was on the Nuggets. Nice. Definitely signed them both. Greatly appreciate it. I have received some, received back some return to senders, unfortunately, a couple players. Uh, either they're no longer live at the address. And then when I went to Sports Card Forum, the, there were there were some updates as far as other people had gotten some return to senders back too. It is what it is. I've only received a couple of those. So I've been thankful that I've gotten back as many as I have so far. And our last one here. I hope this uh, how-to video has helped you all and how to do this. Okay, nothing in there. Oh, at least the cards are there. So <laughs> next time, make sure, you know, hopefully the player puts it inside the card saver. Let's see what this is. It's a John Conkak. Nice. And this is the one I was definitely excited to try to send, back, send to. <laughs> it's kind of a funny picture of him. <laughs> nice, Mr. Conkak. I greatly appreciate that. All right, so let me know what you all thought of the uh, through the mail autographs that I received back. Like I said, if you all received any back recently, definitely stoked about you know 
the, the blue colors there, the nice autographs here. So thanks, Mr. Conkak. Thanks, Mr. Shea. Thanks, Mr. Davis. I greatly appreciate it. If y'all haven't subscribed, please do so. Do like what you see. Please drop a like. It really helps for my channel. Hopefully, y'all staying safe out there. Y'all take care. Have a good day. And thanks for watching.